7 investigator Ross Jones is just back from Colorado where he saw firsthand what's changed since they legalized the drug in that state. And Ross joins us right now with what he found out. How about it, Ross? Carolyn Dave, Coloradans call it the great social experiment, and in some ways they're still figuring out how it's going to end. There's certainly been some good to come out of their decision six years ago to legalize weed, but there have also been some unintended consequences. If you think Colorado has become the Wild West for weed, don't tell the people who live there. I personally don't feel less safe. There are still laws like you can't do it in the parks and stuff, just like you can't drink outside. Six years since Colorado became the first state to legalize recreational marijuana, we traveled there to find out what's changed. You've got coffee beans, gummies, chocolate bars, suckers, mints, lotions, yes. Most of the people we talked to said not much. It's very well controlled. Um, I think most people will be surprised at who goes in and purchases recreational marijuana. A lot of people in my generation, actually. Maybe the best news of all, say marijuana proponents, there are fewer people going to jail or prison for low-level drug crimes. The number of marijuana-related arrests have plummeted since legalization. Instead of putting people in jail, uh, we're saying, look, uh, go, go home, You use this as you will, we'll leave you alone, you're not creating problems. And while there are fewer people being locked up, there seem to be more living on Colorado's streets. Liz Gillardi has been covering marijuana legalization for our station in Denver. We do have a rising homeless population. There is that statistic that's been thrown out there about that it's tied to marijuana. At the St. Francis Center in Denver, Tom Lewers and his team help more than 700 homeless men, women, and children every day. Are some of those people who came to town just because they needed marijuana? We think so. A recent survey of seven city and county jails in Colorado showed that a third of homeless inmates reported coming to Colorado, at least in part, for legal marijuana. And then there are the health risks. Much of the pot being produced in Colorado is more potent than marijuana from only a few years ago. THC, marijuana's psychoactive component, may have averaged 4% in the 90s. Today, some products contain as much as 90 percent. 84 percent of the marijuana in Colorado has been consumed by 20 percent of the consumers. Those are problemed users. Ben Court lives in Boulder, Colorado, and used to abuse alcohol and marijuana. Since the 1990s, he's been sober and says big business has made marijuana more potent than ever. This stuff is so new that we don't really know how it's affecting people's brains and bodies, and that's scary. Just this month, a study in the American Journal of Psychiatry found that marijuana use is more damaging to teens' brains than alcohol, with significant negative effects on problem-solving, short- and long-term memory. The brain really doesn't start maturing until like early 20s and to mid-20s. And so when we expose it to any kind of substances, there always can be changes. So with all that being said, six years later, would voters approve legalization again? Most polling says absolutely. Everyone that comes to Denver thinks we're going to have all these horrible things with people smoking pot and doing crime up and down the 16th Street Mall. And as you see, that is not the case at all. One good piece of news that might surprise you, certainly surprised me, marijuana use among adolescents in Colorado has actually gone down since weed was made legal. That's according to federal surveys. Of course, there's also the question of safety. Is Colorado less safe since marijuana was legalized? Cops and pro prosecutors told us absolutely. The roads are deadlier, violent crime is up, and hospital visits are soaring. But is marijuana to blame? We'll tackle it all tonight on 7 Action News at 11. Wow, so much to unpack there and such a controversial issue. And I know our voters are going to have to decide and weigh it all. November 6th. It, 12 so, days. Yep. Yeah. Ross, thank you for the information. We'll look forward to your story tonight.